Okay. I got a little note here. And so this morning when I made it, I couldn't figure out if it was the Lord or Lorand. So in the first service, I acted on the note. You decide if it's the Lord or Lorand. I want to talk to the men for just a second. Men, when I talk about temptation, you know what one of the greatest temptations is, and it's her. You can't walk out of this building, you can't go anywhere in public and not see flesh, nudity, uh, seductresses, dressing to appeal, dressing to look good. You know what I'm talking about. And short and low, and here are men who want to live right. Men that want to be holy. They got nowhere to turn because in a 360 degree circle, it's everywhere. But the problem is, is that they have to see it in church. No man ought to have to fight that in church. Ladies, girls, when you get up to get dressed to come to church, you need to realize you're coming to the holy house of God. You ought not to come here to show off, wait, your legs... And if you're constantly having to fight to stay decent, you got the wrong wardrobe on. And not just for church, but for anywhere else. Now, I am not mad. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. You need to change wardrobes. This is not a place to find a date. This is not a place to find a new husband. This is a place where you come in and the Spirit of God fills it and Jesus is here, and His holiness is here, and you ought not to be the cause for a man having to fight his flesh in a service. Well, Pastor, what about the men? I've had no complaints about a man whose britches legs were too short. Here's another one. But pastor, that's our culture. Now hear me. When you get saved, you change cultures. I don't care what you call it. French, Russian, Romanian, I don't care what it is. When you get saved, you become a Christian and you conduct yourself as a Christian and you dress modestly for the glory of God everywhere you go.